What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Camo Fitness's brand new launch, the Sizzle Collection. This collection's launching July 7th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now they are launching a couple brand new pieces, so I figured I would just hop on here real quick, give you guys the breakdown so that you know what you're looking for on launch day. Thank you so much to Camo Fitness for sponsoring today's video. If you remember the last video, Camo Fitness was actually experimenting with scrunch shorts. They came out with their feather light, discreet scrunch short, now they actually came out with full length leggings. So this is technically a new piece. They also came out with some brand new EOS seamless shorts. This is their V2. You guys remember those? I only had a couple to share with you, but for the longest time they weren't launching them. Now they are back and better than ever because they're new and improved and we have some really cute colors for summer. Fact check, I know I said EOS before, it's actually EOS. And I don't know what's going on, but they're coming out with cargo pants too. But the real question is how do these pieces hold up? What are we looking at here? Let's break it down, shall we? You guys already know, we cover a ton of activewear on this channel. So definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. We have a ton of fun videos coming your way. Women's best, anybody? I have not done a women's best video in years and I'm really excited to see how far they've come. Over here you can find my measurements. I'll also have them in the description box below. Now that you guys know that I got every single piece in my true size small, let's dip into it. Now I know you guys from the beginning of the video were probably like, wait a minute, cargo pants? What the heck? This is so left field. <laughs> It threw me off. Not that I'm totally in the market for this, but okay. my first thoughts were, why would you put something so heavy and dense in something like the Sizzle collection? You know, you think Sizzle, you're thinking hot summer heat. This actually reminds me, of, actually exactly, like the emo pants I used to wear when I was all into good Charlotte back in the day. I got to meet them, by the way. Just saying, I met Benji and Joel. I pretty much dressed like Avril Lavigne for like three years straight. These are obviously baggy and oversized. I don't think I need to go there if you're looking at the overlap right now, which you should be. There's a ton of buttons here. You have the front closure. You also have back pockets, side pockets. I mean, it's a cargo pant. That's what you can expect. The pockets run deep. Just saying, I have a massive phone. It's a Samsung, I don't even know what the frig, what is it? It fits flawlessly. You have a lot of room in these pockets. You also have what I like to call the pitchfork belt clip. Now, I'll be the first to admit, I don't traditionally wear things like this. I do wear baggy jeans once in a while. I have not worn anything like this in a very long time. I do know that this style is super trendy though. I see it all over social media. The baggy pants, the crop top, it's a look, it's a vibe, and it's super on trend right now. What I do love about these is that they are very freaking comfortable. You can move around, stretch around in them. They move with you. They don't dig, like if you're sitting for a long time in a car, they're not riding up in the groin. I'm thankful that it wasn't crazy long on me, so that was a nice surprise. There is a draw cord right at the end of the pants. So if you wanted to cinch them in, if you don't like that big baggy look on the leg, very wide leg, you can cinch it in so it has a more of a form fit towards the ankle. It feels like it wicks rain very well. So if you're going on a hike, this would be really great. Now granted, don't do it during the summer. You will sweat. Do this in the fall time. Wear something like this in the fall time. If you're in between, you could get away with sizing down because again, these are baggy and oversized. Let's talk about the new EOS V2 shorts. Now these are actually coming in quite a few colors. We're looking at Load and Frost Green, Strong Blue, Peach Bud, Paradise Pink, Persian Jewel, and Dark Iris. So my favorites here that I have are Peach Bud, Paradise Pink, which is a reddish pink, and Strong Blue, which is like that sonic blue. Now if you're unfamiliar with the EOS Seamless, Eos, damn ash, God. Now the trend I'm seeing these days with the scrunch ball, very discreet, sometimes on the inside, which you'll see later with the other pieces, but the Eos has more of a traditional scrunch ball, say like the Amplify. This is something you will see on the outside, just holding it up, you can see, looks like a cat hole. <laughs> Wearing it is no problem, you will fill them out nicely. Unlike a lot of traditional Amazon scrunch bum shorts or leggings, these scrunches are not stiff. They don't ride in, they don't floss, they feel very, very comfortable. They move with you. Their logo is sewn in on the back of the waistband. I like this because it elevates the piece. It adds some quality to the shorts. There's a few things to note though about these shorts. So according to Camo Fitness, I'm looking at their Instagram right here, their new EOS shorts V2 
offer a low front rise for improved comfort and tummy control, thigh friendly leg opening, and a less restrictive waistband. Definitely an improvement, but a few things we gotta know. It is a moderate compression waistband. These are a little on the short side. I do prefer six inches at least, so these were a little bit too short for my preference, and I did feel some thigh cinching. Now, it isn't crazy to a degree of being like, damn, I can't wear these, but you know me. The less thigh cinch, the absolute better. I am highly sensitive to thigh cinch, like more than the regular normal person. Any bit of scythe inch, I'm just like, get stuff. Now, I know that they said they cleared this up and made it better from last time, which is great, but I still would like to see a little more less thigh cinch. Does that make sense? Now, because these are on the short side, they do roll up when I'm squatting and moving around. Keep that in mind because these are gym friendly in a sense. I did the sweat test in these, they showed sweat. I also have to make mention, they're pretty sheer too, especially this peach bud. Like this one doesn't really stand a chance from the get go, like we all knew that. I'm not surprised these aren't totally squat proof because this type of material when it's seamless like this, it's relatively thin, it's pretty breathable. So you can't expect it to be very squat proof. Other than that, I really do like this waistband. It doesn't cinch in too much, doesn't sausage me in. It's very comfortable. There's a nice amount of stretch in these. Also no dreaded CT to be had in these as long as you wear underwear. So your best bet when it comes to squat proof, camel toe situation, wear a thicker nude thong. You'll be just fine. If you're in between sizes, I would suggest sizing up rather than down. I do think I could probably get away with a medium. I think it would help with the thigh cinch a bit, but nonetheless, my true size does work. We have two tops launching in this collection. We have a regular low support sports bra and a low support tank. This is the Featherlight Clio corset top. Well, 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 what do we have here? We have some adjustable straps. All right. This is super low support. There's no bra pads. There's no built-in shelf bra. You have nothing really supporting you here. It is double layered. Now this does not have any inserts either. So you can't put bra pads in here even if you wanted to. The best you have is this seamed contour underneath. Nice, big, bulky, thick seam. This is just meant to highlight the underbust, add a little bit of personality to this piece. I just feel like if I raise my hands, no matter what I do, no matter how I adjust these straps, this seam contour ends up at my nips. There's just no, there's just no way around it. <laughs> I tried to adjust the straps, it does not help. So my big takeaway with this tank, you don't really wanna wear this to the gym. For me, this is a great summertime piece because it's so lightweight. You don't have anything bogging you down, nothing too bulky. It's not too long, but I do feel like if you have a very long torso, you might see a little tummy. The Featherlight Clio Sports Bra. I'm actually wearing it right now in peach bud. Again, just like the top you just saw, no bra pads, no option to insert. It's just a double layer bra. I'm just warning you, if you have bigger busts, I would be cautious wearing this. I mean, just look at it, y you know. The only form of activity I would suggest doing in this bra is lightweight aerobics. And that's if you have very small busts where they're not gonna be popping out on you. It's something that doesn't need a ton of support down here because do know there's no support at the underbust. Now what they did do is play around with the style. You can see that curve. I think that's really adorable. Scoop neck in the front, very low scoop in the back. This is not adjustable. So unlike the EOS, these tops have a printed logo on the back. Overall, I'm very comfortable with my true size. The one thing I will note is maybe right Right around here, I feel ever so slightly extra material. So if you're in between and you have similar measurements to me, I would suggest sizing down. If you have larger hoo-hahs, then and only then would I suggest possibly sizing up. Last but not least, we are gonna discuss the Featherlight Enhanced Leggings. You remember they just came out with the shorts a couple months ago. The first time they, A, came out with the Featherlight material, we just discussed before, and B, they came out with the Enhanced Glute Seam, which means there's an internal discreet scrunch. The trend of scrunch bums is slowly evolving into a very discreet internal scrunch. Not crazy like the EOS. Man, that's just gonna divide and part the seas. This is just gonna give a little gentle, little happy helping hand. Just makes you not have a uni butt, right? Let's just call it like it is. It takes that away. This is Camo Fitness's traditional yoga legging. Now this is in the color Dark Iris, which is a dark navy blue. Other than black, this is one of their darkest colors they're coming out with in this launch. You have a subtle V-seam on the back. It is high-waisted. It has a 25-inch inseam, so it appears a little bit long on me. Nothing too crazy. No dreaded CT, 
Now these leggings are gonna be a lot more squat proof than those EOS seamless shorts. For summertime, these aren't the most breathable. These are brushed leggings. After performing the sweat test on these, same deal, sweat will show up. I'd give these overall a low to moderate support. Very true to size, but if you're in between, that's when I would suggest possibly sizing up. All right guys, so that's what we're looking at with Camel Fitness's sizzle capsule. Comment down below your thoughts. What are you thinking? By the time you're watching this, the launch is either probably tomorrow or already live. <laughs> Depends on how fast Bay wants to edit. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below if you have any questions at all about this launch. I appreciate you being here. I love you and I'm gonna catch you in my next video.